All right, so a lot of real estate agents have been quickly adapting to our new normal. As a result of COVID-19, we now have to sell houses virtually. So I'm gonna tell you 10 steps to easily buy a house virtually. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so before we get started, please click the like and subscribe button. That helps me to continue with bringing videos to this channel. All right, so let's get right to it. Step number one, you wanna make sure that you're working with a realtor or real estate agent who does offer this service of helping you to buy a house virtually. Um, unfortunately, everybody is not um, selling houses virtually, but some are. So be sure to check that first. And along with step number one, you want to look out and analyze and read the listings that they send over to you. Now, these listings will tell you if you can view the inside or not, but it gives you a lot of important details. Step number two, do a drive-by on Google Earth. All right, you can simply type in an address on your computer or your phone and Google will allow you to drive up and down the street. A lot of these videos are dated within the last 12 months, so it's a huge help, saves you time, gas, money from physically driving to the property. And you can also physically drive to the property if you want to just get a real feel of what the neighborhood looks like. Step number three, ask your realtor if they are offering a virtual home tour service. Now this is when you would um, look at videos of each nook and cranny inside the house. It's a video either taken by the home seller or by your agent. Step number four, you love the neighborhood, you love the virtual tour, so now what do you do? All right, pick up that phone, contact your real estate agent, find out if this particular house is allowing inside showings. Now, don't be disappointed because most of the properties are not allowing inside showings. So therefore, what you would do is submit an offer contingent on inspection. Now, we're gonna get back to the inspection in a few minutes, but I wanna give you a few details in case the seller does allow showings. Now suppose the seller does and the house is vacant. What you wanna do is be sure to strap up, all right? You wanna have your disposable gloves on each hand. You wanna have disposable booties on your feet. You wanna have a mask and you wanna be sure to not touch anything in the house, okay? Right now it's a very unusual time for us. So we want to just keep everyone safe. All right. So step number five, maybe they allowed you to view the inside. Maybe they didn't, but what you want to do is submit an offer electronically. Now there are so many services these days, DocuSign, HelloSign, DotLoop, but your real estate agent can email you an offer based on what you discussed and you can determine what a good price is by looking at the comps, the recent solds in the area, and then writing an offer contingent on inspection. So once that's done, you sign the offer sent over to the seller, we move ahead to our next step. We want to submit an earnest money deposit. Now, the deposit amount depends on the price of the house, but you can wire that directly to the title company or to your agent's brokerage. It's held into an account until closing day. All right, let's get to step number six. It's time to get that home inspector. Now, this home inspector will go through the house, every detail of the house, every nook and cranny, and they'll even provide you a wonderful report with photos and text. It's usually 40 to 60 pages and They'll take care of all of that for you. And now the inspector's job is not to tell you how wonderful the house is or how great of a deal it is, but their job or what they mainly do is find out what's wrong. Like when you might need to replace a furnace or when you might need to replace a roof. And in addition to that, before we submit that offer, we want to look at the seller disclosure forms with our agent. 
Now, the seller disclosure forms are pre-filled out by the sellers and it will give you an idea of when the plumbing was replaced or electrical or roof. All right, so now the inspection went well. You're still feeling great about this house. You're ready to rock and roll and get it done. So our next step would be the appraisal. Now, if you are getting financing to buy this house, you will need an appraisal and that appraisal is ordered through your lender and paid for by you, the buyer. But if you're buying the house with cash, the appraisal is up to you. In most circumstances, most cash buyers don't get an appraisal, but again, it's your decision. All right, all right, all right. We're doing really, really good. We are almost to the finish line. Now, in between time when the appraisal's happening, the inspection's happening, when all that stuff is happening, guess what else is happening? Behind the scenes, the title company is doing their research on this house. Now, their job is to make sure that when the closing happens, any mortgages on this house is paid off. Any unpaid mechanics liens or clouds on the title, they are, their job is to make sure that gets taken care of. Now, once all of the details are done and the title company has researched the title work, they will email to you a preview of the closing docs. Now, you can look at all the facts and figures and um, that's it. It's almost time. All right, so all the paperwork's ready, appraisal's done, inspection's done. We are good. We are ready to close. What are your next steps now? You want to get your money together. You want to wire the final amount of money that needs to be sent to close this deal. You want to wire that over to the title company directly and you want to make a decision on if you're comfortable with a mobile notary coming to your home or coming to your office or if you want to go to the title company's office, of course, with your protection. Now, I've been doing electronic closings for many years just because I work with a lot of investors who are in other states and other countries. So... Um, some of the title companies will allow an electronic, a complete electronic closing, meaning they will email the docs to you, you print them out, you sign them, you scan them, and you send them back. Now, signing and scanning and emailing back doesn't always work when you are getting financing for the property because all the docs has to be notarized and I just don't believe some lenders allow it. So that's it. Wasn't that easy? Your final step is we can put a lockbox on that property, have the keys inside the lockbox. You go over there, you open the lockbox, get your keys out, and you're done. <laughs> that is how you buy a house virtually. So if you know anyone who needs to buy a house virtually, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I will leave my phone number and all of my contact information below. And also, post any additional questions right here below on this channel. I love to answer the questions right on the channel because other people have the same questions about the videos. So I thank you for watching. Again, if you thought this information was valuable, share it with a friend, share it on social media, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It's Katina Willis with Real Estate News from the D, that's Detroit and Detroit Suburbs. I'll see you on the next one.